Welcome back from the break. You are watching Man Talk right here on KTN Home. I am your host, Susan Jiroge, and I'm joined by Kagondu Jr. and Sam West today. We are discussing finding the one, I know. And some of you might have a lot of questions, so please do hit us up on the socials. And you can also use the text line 22151. That is 22151, it's right here on the screen. You can text us if you wanna be a guest on the show, if you wanna get involved in Man Talk, or if you have any questions to do with the show, do send them there. Now, just as we were ending the first half of the episode, we were learning about how you cannot find the one if you yourself are not the one. Do you want to marry yourself? <laughs> Would you marry yourself if you had the opportunity to? Tough questions are being asked here by Kagondu and Sam. <laughs> now, we were talking about courtship just as we ended the episode. Mm -hmm. um, and at least you shared, you said at around two years was your courtship period. Sam, we will jump, jump, how long your courtship period was. Because I want you guys to share yes. your personal yes. experiences okay. so that people can understand. Yes. Um, but also what you do in work really helps yeah. with what with counseling and with yes. motivational speaking because yes. you deal with a lot of people who are handling these problems yes. now do you guys believe in soulmates you know the idea that it's one person out there meant for you or do you believe that you can find somebody can just find love with the right kind of person i i have i'm always of the opinion that the person you are with mm -hmm. can become your soulmate uh -huh. yes i like that uh because most people tend to think there's, you know, there's always that person we think your partner should be, yes. and then there's what your partner is. So <laughs> I think there, there always has to be, that's why I was talking about the element of cultivating, because it has to be someone, if, if you want your partner to be a certain way, mm -hmm. you have to help them become and, and, and walk with them along the journey. Like yeah. if you think, oh my God, she's adding weight and, I would. I don't this is want, not the direction. Yes, just like tell even her, her she's, she did want to go in this yes, direction. Talk to her. <laughs> tell her, babes. Sit <laughs> Kimbia. Can we run? You know, <laughs> if if you want her to be God fearing, you know, get her in spaces where she can connect more with God. Yes. If you want her to think in a certain way, but you know, it's more of like communication and, mm -hmm. and understanding each mm -hmm. other because. I think like I mentioned last time, relationships are about three things. It's yeah. about knowledge, yes. understanding, yes. and wisdom. I remember. Now, when you understand how your partner is and, and how they think, and, and also understanding the, the elements of relationships, mm -hmm. uh, knowing that this is how I like my relationship done, yes. and this is how she likes her own relationship mm -hmm. and trying to find a balance of completing each other ra rather than competing with each other. So yeah, I think it's possible to actually get into a space where you are so interconnected that, now, that you feel like uh, they can become a soulmate. Yes. But I, I have, I, I know of several things, I normally check several things. This is what I did personally. Yeah. So one, I, I think when you meet someone, there should be someone who can support your vision, mm -hmm. support what you are doing. Okay. If I meet you, Sura, as a, a host yes. in media, yes. I should come and support what you are doing. Mm -hmm. At the same time, it's also good to understand when you come with two visions, you have to be very careful because uh, those are, you know, one, there has to be an element of submission with one of them. Because now what happens, the relationship becomes a monster. And a monster is an animal that has two heads. Yeah. So when you have two heads, uh, we in, in, in biology we used to say die. Die is D, means two. Mm -hmm. So when you have a vision, put a die at the, uh, at the beginning. It becomes division. Yes. And division is what causes divorce. Right. So you have to be in a space where now the first thing, the person that you meet, you have to be willing to support their vision and find how you can interlock it. And then the other thing, I, I believe people need to be in a space where they can be honest with each other mm -hmm. and be real with each other. I think uh, the Bible talks about a desirable man is one who is, uh, what, what, what's the word, I'm, I'm forgetting, who has grace. Who, yes. And then it talks about uh, a man who never lies. So there has to be an element of honesty Complete where you honesty. can be real with each other, tell each other what's going in Everything, your lives, yeah. what are the challenges you've had. You know, especially when you come in a relationship, you know, you're bringing several histories together. So if I'm like, 
uh, let me say 52. Of course, I'm not 52, uh -huh. and my wife is also 52. Yeah. You're talking of 104 years in the same bed. Yes. So you're bringing all those histories <laughs> together. together. Mm -hmm. So you have to be willing to also allow that other person be, because they, you also came with your own history. You so, know, I like what you talked about when you said, um, when you're talking about the two-headed monster, because um, submission is something today for the modern woman is yeah. very hard to understand if she's a working woman, if she yeah. also contributes to the yeah. household. Submission, we are not able to quite understand it because we don't know the, the, the style in which it will be applied to the relationship. Yes. Does it always mean the woman is at a disadvantage? Because sometimes when you're talking about submission, that's what it sounds like. It yeah. sounds like the woman is always the one who will say, no, I'll, I'll sacrifice this, I'll sacrifice this, I'll sacrifice this yeah. for the um, good of the family. But yeah. what you're talking about is honesty in submission in the sense that if we're both dating and we both have careers, both our careers, if we have children or support, support our family, yeah. If they're blowing up at the same time, yeah. it will be so hard yes. for us to support one another and be able to play that role. Yes. And what you're talking about is one person might have to sacrifice a certain and season submit, um, of their so, career yeah. and submit. So, yeah. And the other partner be aware that while this one is submitting, Tani Anko in Akuja. In Akuja. <laughs> right? But you know the Bible talks about submitting to one another. Yes. But you know, I think the, the modern woman mm -hmm. is struggling with submission because now the man is still working with the old school mentality because the modern woman also requires a modern man yes but still understanding that there are some elements that will not change yeah because when you come in as a husband you see being a husband is not a position mm -hmm. it's not a rank it's not a title it's an ordained responsibility mm -hmm. and when a woman tries to become a husband that's where the issue becomes. Mm. I, I, um, I support women emancipation. I support where women get into positions of power. Yeah. And it's good. It's being propelled everywhere in the world, get, getting them into governance, being even presidents like yes. we have in uh, Tanzania. Yeah. But there's a difference when you become, you, you, you're in power at work, but you have to understand that in the family setup, there is what God ordained. There's a husband and then there's a, there mm -hmm. is a wife. Mm -hmm. And God is the one who ordained the man to be the head yes. of the family. But being the head does not mean being a boss. Right. Those are two different things. You said it's a responsibility. It's a responsibility. Which is true. In fact, the people tend to think the man should be at the top. But my opinion is the man is the bottom. What actually means is is the foundation. He's holding the fo everyone he's together. He's holding everyone together. Actually, the word husband. He comes from the word house bond. Mm -hmm. So he bonds, he's a glue together that brings and puts wow. the family together. Nice. So I think... Uh, I didn't know that. Yeah, so, so <laughs> he is, he, he ensures the children. You see, like he, he's like a president. Yes. And the wife is a vice president. And then we have the children as the board members. So this is what happens. The work of the president is to preside. Yes. And preside, which means he cannot do anything without consulting with the vice yeah, president. Yeah. They should work together. They I'm, 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 I like that so much. Yeah. What Sam is saying mm -hmm. is that our leaders are actually supposed to be working for us, just in case. Exactly. You all haven't understood that, but yes. that's not what we discuss on Man Talk. That's what we're going to up for later in another episode. But that's thank you true. so much for that. Serving. Now, should be when serving. men are looking for lifetime partners, mm -hmm. yeah. um, I like what you said about, you know, a man has to be in the presence of God. He has yeah. to be working. He has to yeah. be cultivating. So essentially, you've given women a very good guide yes. of what to look for, depending on yes. your goals and everything. To yeah. that that tall, handsome, mini, yeah. those are not the qualities that matter. Yes. Is he stable? Is he in the presence yeah. of God? Is yes. he working? Does he have a vision for his life? Does he have a word of God? Does he, he have was given a, the a command. word of God? For your information, I don't think woman was given the instructions man was given. Mm -hmm. In fact, woman was not there when God was given these instructions. Yeah. Mm -hmm. In fact, when God was saying work, it was in Genesis, I think, 15. Woman turned up in Genesis 2.22. In fact, she was not told to work. Oh, that's a, that's, a, that's, a, that's a good thing to learn. Very important point. She was point. supposed to help. Yes. The Bible says, I'll create you a helper. And a helper, it's either someone who is strong mm -hmm. or stronger than you. Mm -hmm. That's why women, men shouldn't be intimidated by a woman who is stronger. Because women come to help. Yes. If there's nothing you're working on, what are they coming to How help? How can they help you? They'll help it themselves. Very true. Very, very and, true. And that's why God gives women intuition, ideas, wisdom, skills, and they're supposed to come and help the man. 
But this man gets intimidated and starts thinking she's coming to take over. Yeah. No, she's coming to help you. It, you need to figure out how to use the equipment that God is giving that you is giving to you. make it work. I like that. Yeah. Yeah. Now, yeah. Um, Kagondi Jr., <laughs> yeah. I want you to talk to us about what men should be looking for. Because mm -hmm. like you said, there is quite a little bit of confusion yeah. and lack of guidance. You used you know, your own example talking to your dad mm -hmm. and your dad wouldn't know how to talk to you because yeah. his dad yes. never talked to him yeah. and he had no structure. Yeah. Yes. Every time we ask them about, you know, how did they meet our mothers? How did they find the one? One anzangana story, yasazile walienda to your mom's parents. And you're like, but surely there's no way you, you saw her at the river and then you walked to her parents' house. There yeah. must have been a conversation. They must have been dating. Yes. But it's hard for them to communicate that because they're not sure how should I explain to my child mm -hmm. how I met their mother? Is it inappropriate? It's not inappropriate. So what should young men looking for? A man who feels he's stable, a man who is looking for the one who wants to start a family. What are the qualities they should actually be looking for? Yeah, that's very interesting yeah. because uh, what you see out there, and mm -hmm. especially this time and age, it would be a lot of confusion when it comes to the roles. Okay? Yes. Because uh, there would be a lot of stereotyping, and mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. there is a lot of uh, role confusion when it comes to what a man is supposed to be, what a woman is supposed to be. Mm -hmm. Okay. Long time ago, you find yeah. that you know the man was supposed to be in charge. Uh, they have this vast land, yeah, mm -hmm. and uh, have as many women as possible. Okay, and the main essence of a woman it was yeah. to till the land and more so to also ensure that they serve children yes. for this particular man. Mm -hmm. And you see the wealth of a of a man who it was determined by the number of children or even uh, the many cattle that they had. Yes. Okay, and uh, with this we have seen that we have come with uh, that notion of uh, whereby um, a man is supposed to be in a certain way. Mm -hmm. Okay, and whenever they engage in a woman. A woman has no, uh, they, they don't have the space whereby they'll be able to express themselves or even be who they're supposed to be, okay? And you see, when we are talking about uh, having a good understanding mm -hmm. of what it means to be in a relationship, you figure out that you're not empowered. Okay, and in most cases you find that most men, just like uh, in many cases, you yeah. find that, yes, we do invest when it comes to learning about how to run a business, yes. but rarely do we go to school to learn about family. Yes. Okay, you don't even have a single book on what it means to be a man, mm. or what it means to raise a child. And they are available. There are so many. There's an element of where ignorance is passed on from one generation to the other. Yeah. But the mere fact that I was not equipped, you know, by my daddy and Reasons being, he was not supported in the best way by the father, yeah. who was not supported by the father, yes. then this is what I'm going to pass on to my yes, child. My, my Unless mother. you break the that generation, that of generation. course. <laughs> okay. And this is where we get it so wrong. Okay. And you figure out that the man of today, what they do, they will look for this curvy woman mm -hmm. who is uh, so beautiful, yes. you know, they are just striking with beauty. Yeah. Okay. Yes. And, uh, and beauty is easy to work with because you know what your eye likes. Yes. Yeah, that's not hard. And you yes. see, for men are visual. Okay, as much as women are yeah. emotional, mm -hmm. uh, for men, they are more intrigued into just seeing and uh, observing, and uh, many other times, to Navunja Shingo. Okay, yes. I know <laughs> <laughs> Not a mob. <laughs> <laughs> too in the vehicle. Eh, Mind you, attack, your own business. Attack accidents. <laughs> well, say most of them are caused by. Look about but I mean, it's not. Okay, because we, we are visual. Okay, yeah. and this does confuse us. Okay, and this is where we need to talk to the young man, the man who hasn't found the one. Okay, because mm -hmm, mm -hmm. in most cases, uh, just like my colleague is saying, uh, we we forget that the person coming into your life is somebody who will be supporting you in terms of your vision, and that means already you have already worked on yourself yeah okay mm -hmm. this is somebody that you can also rely on okay and most importantly we don't look for friends yeah because beyond love like friendship that. should be the first thing that you that like work that. on yeah. okay because yeah. love does fade away that's and true. it's an incredible guidance for a man or you know a young man as yes. well because like you said visually there can be very many beautiful women mm -hmm. there in your university class or yes. there in Kenya has very many beautiful women by the <laughs> very way beautiful. yeah very, so you have beautiful. very many beautiful women in your space so yes. there's your workspace or in school mm -hmm. but what you're saying not all of them will be your friend not yes. all of them your personalities mm -hmm. will be able to get along mm -hmm. with so it's a good way of defining yes and when you're talking about friends i want you to think of an associate mm -hmm. okay this is somebody who's supporting your vision yes. okay there's also somebody who is there for who you are okay there's also the cameras that we talk yeah. about the camera power in university mm -hmm. those who are there for that which that you're against okay and this is where if you're so lucky enough you only have one or two 
you know, or even three, yes. people who are there for who you are, the authentic you, okay? And this is where we need to be careful when you're looking for people to be around you, the same case when it comes to a life partner, yeah. okay? Right. So friendship yeah. is very key. Yes. And this person, uh, when you're talking about friendship, this is somebody that you can easily communicate to, okay? Mm. Nowadays, if you're driving along the highways, yeah. uh, the, the easiest way to know that that yeah. is a couple, uh, and they're in traffic, uh -huh. then they're not talking to one another. <laughs> so, moja melala. Ama na traffic, okay? Yeah. But if you want to know newly married or even those in courtship, yes. oh, stories in Mexico. Yeah, they're and they're holding know. each other. Even uh -huh. hands are holding, even yes. when they're driving. Let me what? drive with one yeah. hand, <laughs> just so I can still hold yes. her hand. Okay, and the question is, what happened along the way? Then that means, uh, for these people who are not talking to one another, then they're not friends, because when love goes, dies, dies and it does die. okay, then the friendship should be that which that will be holding you together. True. So that is very important. And we need to even um, in, uh, cultivate this into our children. You know, uh, I normally ask my son, you know, how was school today? Okay, yes. which friend did you sit with mm -hmm. today? Okay, when you're having lunch? Yes. Okay, or even Who is your fought friend? with? Oh, yes, yeah. yes. okay, you never know. Yes. <laughs> okay, and this is just a way of trying to show them. That's the, 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 there's more than the material wealth that we're talking about. You know, the importance of friendship, you know, and this is where happiness will come about, all right? So if I'm not friends with my good friend Sam, mm -hmm. then even telling him, you know, what I'm going through, because mm -hmm. you figure out that men, they don't have friends, and that's why most of them are suffering in silence. Okay? Yeah. Men and don't they, have friends. Oh, yes, and even yeah. at home, you find that they are not friends. So right. we need to cultivate this, you know, that element of friendship from the word go, okay? So the way men look for money with vigor or yes. babe, was, that's the same way you should be looking for friendship, for friendship. Yes. support, yes. Oh, yes. Yes. and it's societal wealth. Yes, and we, we have seen people, you know, social capital is very important, yeah. even in the world of business, yes. okay? So if you're able to work on your social capital, then you're good to go, okay? Yeah. I'm sure I'm here because of the social capital. Capital, yeah, Okay, 100%. somebody somewhere you knows someone. me, okay? And yeah. you're able to connect, okay? So the thing is, if mm -hmm. you don't work on that, then you be in a lot of trouble because yeah. these are the same men that will be out there probably they have been stressed out at the workplace and uh, they don't want to go home why because they don't have somebody to talk to or that's even share true. what they have gone through during yes. the day okay and uh, that's why Njugunas you know yeah. the locals they yes. are fully packed because you're in bound the to find somebody to talk yes. to, to talk to even okay. if it's just a barman exactly yes. shout and out to barman <laughs> by the way you guys really listen yeah. to a lot they, and deal with they them. make good counselors yes they and do. they give you a listening ear whereby you're able to pour out talk about the issues that yes. you're experiencing yeah. yes. and you see with the guidance you see your friend there in joroge you know yes. taking yes. one for the road yes. and yes. you'll be sorted out okay yeah. so friendship some camaraderie. Is key. Oh, i like yes. that <laughs> oh, that's very important. Now, yeah. when when um, you guys were being raised, yes. was love or finding the one or relationship something that was made important? Did you feel like it was something important when you were a boy growing up? Mm -hmm. Of of course. Because uh, I think for girls, it's like drilled into our yeah. heads. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it was drilled. You need to get married. It's it's an achievement. Right. And, oh, yeah. and and but now you see that whole idea of movies and even parents telling mm -hmm. us, hey, I can't wait for you to grow up, get a job and get married, married. get have children and <laughs> yeah. all that. So in your head, you know, your main purpose in life is to get married. Mm -hmm. But, you know, th those are the conditions and the traditions you've come through in. But it, I don't know, it, it's, it's a, then they, didn't, they don't even teach you the process of getting married. They don't teach you what he's talking about, friendship knowing what you're looking for, making sure you have someone with vision. We're not taught about those things. Yeah. We, we, we are just allowed, you know, learn as you go. Learn That's as you true. go. And they've made it even a stereotype to a point. Being single now is seeming like a life-threatening disease. Yeah, which is so well. In yeah. fact, even as ladies and men, yes. you're asked when you go somewhere, or yeah. if somebody actually wants to talk to you, they exactly. want to slide in the DM and they'll <laughs> find out if you're single. Yes, that's the, the first, first question. The first question is, well, why are you single? And, and yeah, they're making it true. Why, why do we ask like that question? Like so wrong with yeah. that. Yeah, it's I'm, wild. First of all, the yeah. fact that I'm single is an opportunity <laughs> exactly. for you. Exactly. Oh, yes. 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 Oh, yes. So don't come asking me why I'm single. <laughs> if you find out I'm single, ride the wave or get out of here. And then they package marriage like a life support system like this like is the only way okay. things will go right for you it's like in fact it. you know i've seen so many people who are looking so f forward to being married 
and they were doing so well. Their businesses were okay. Uh -huh. They were even they had even nice you know vibes around them. Yes. But the moment they got married, things started going downwards. Because they weren't looking because for the right partner. They were just looking for marriage. They just, just wanted marriage. Exactly. What they were actually status. looking for was exactly. marriage. Not, <laughs> yeah. Exactly. Yeah. It's wild though because our society yeah. um, in Kenya, you are actually treated differently when yeah. you're married. Yes. Yeah. Even when you go into a bank, when you're looking for a job, yeah. when you want to join a chama, when yeah. you want to join an investment yeah. group, when you're, when you're Even married, house people to rent. give. Oh my gosh, Apartments. yes, when you yes. are looking for somewhere always, to live, it's always. completely different yes. when you're married. There are so many more doors <laughs> even, open. Even yeah. promotions, there are places you will not get promoted or won't get the managerial job if, if you're not, you're not nice. married. Which Precisely. personally I think is ridiculous that we still base so much of marriage of importance in those roles. You see, yeah. if somebody is getting promoted, you should get promoted because you you qualify exactly. for this takes, promotion. Yeah. Yes, yeah. It, it should have nothing of to course, do with the exterior. Of course, marriage has its own advantages. Yes. There, there are things that married people do better than single people. Uh -huh. But of course, uh, it comes from an element of you not being single enough. Yes. Kuna vitutu that will just come into your life you're not able to handle them like mm. on a personal level mm -hmm. i think i'm a much better man than i used to be while i was single after getting married yes explain uh, i'm able to i'm able to be more i think i've become a better financial manager uh -huh. after getting married yeah yeah i've also been able to even be consistent with some things since I became married. Yes. Like I used to do all things. I was just telling him I was in like five campuses. Right. Because you know, sometimes when you are single, you are still growing, you are still maturing. Mm -hmm. But and then you know also you don't have a responsibility. <laughs> when exactly. I'm single, I can't change That's career. I can change uni. Exactly. I can change because there's nobody I'm inconveniencing when I move house. Yes. When you know I spend more money on this, or I spend because it's just me I need to worry about. Yes, yes. So I think it has its own advantages, but of course at the end of the day, you also have to understand the marriage institution. Like he's saying, there has to be a way in which people can learn how it's actually done. Yes. Because people just jump into it. Then our parents don't do a good job in teaching us. In fact, they try, you know, we, we model what we saw our parents. Yes. In fact, most women, the reference point is their dads. That's so true. if your dad was a bad man, mm -hmm. you want an opposite of your dad. Uh -huh. If your dad was a good man, you want a man who is exactly like your dad. So what we modeled from our parents and what we saw uh, made us now have an idea of what marriage can be. And unfortunately, here in Kenya, not every young person has experienced a good role model of a of, marriage. Of a marriage. That's very Some true. have grown up without fathers. Yeah. Some have grown up with parents who are fighting all the time. Yes. Some have grown up, you know, in situations where they don't even have both parents. Yeah. Or some, they are there, but they are absent at the same time. Mm -hmm. So all those... Some people are very used to living separate homes. It's exactly. mom's house, dad's house. Exactly. And it's always been like that. Under the idea of blended families, because I'm in one, yeah. where now... <laughs> This Sunday, you have to go visit the other baby daddy. Yes. And that's what you have to go visit the other You have to balance it. <laughs> and you're co-parenting. Yeah, yeah the co-parenting mm. whole process. Mm. Your children don't know whether to call you daddy or whether to call you auntie. <laughs> they're confused. Yes. Because, because you're like, like the dad, you're right there. But at the same time, you're not like the real dad. And they know. So there are all those situations where... Uh, the, there's a confusion based on the models that we grow up seeing ourselves in. And correct me if I'm wrong, yeah. you too, but don't you think our parents should just tell us the truth and share their own personal journeys? It will help so much yeah. in giving you an idea. <laughs> you know, parents think they need so much expertise. And I'm yes. speaking because I know quite a few parents watch this show. Yeah. And they might be confused about how to talk to their kids. But yeah. we just want the truth. We want yes. to know your story. True. We want to know where mm. you mm. think you excelled, where you think... You failed, even yes. though it's in a relationship. <laughs> tell me yes. so that I can have a better idea moving yes. forward. Mm -hmm. so, sorry, so, you can okay, jump okay. in. Yeah. You know, the, the thing is, we live in a space where there's a lot of fear. 
you know, mm -hmm. and uh, most of the parents yeah. out there, they want to um, uh, achieve that which they, they didn't through, through their, their, their children. children. Yeah. Okay. So <laughs> I've seen parents <laughs> talk about that they were really performing well in mathematics. All of them okay. were number one. <laughs> yes. How, how, how are all our parents, parents have always been one? number one. How? It and is yeah. not possible. And we're in the same school. Yeah. If you were <laughs> all in the same school, you could have not all been statistically. It's and, not possible. And they meet their classmates while they are with their children. Yes. And they, the children get to ask, Daddy Ali Kwanga Nambangapi. And you get to hear the That's shocker. True. Okay. That one, Anko and Ashikanisha, anything. anything <laughs> yes. at all. Okay, so th th that could explain the reason why uh, most of them, they don't, uh, they're, they're not really okay with the even sharing that which that they went through, which should be the case. Because like he's saying that everybody has a story, okay? His story makes history, okay? Yes. And uh, you, you find that when you're getting into a relationship, you're carrying on a lot of uh, unfinished business. There's a lot of narrative. Uh, that has been instilled in you and in a way if you don't break that pattern then yeah. you find that everything is going way wire yeah. in, in that particular space yes. okay and when you ask about children and especially men remember we are not even allowed to be emotional we are not even allowed to even be in touch with how That's we feel true. so do you think this man who is not in touch with their feelings himself will, will be, be able to support you emotionally okay yes. and, and this talk is to their we, children about an emotional absolutely. Uh -huh. Conversation. And this is where we need to change the narrative. I'm so happy that I have a young daddy with yeah. me, okay, yeah. on set, okay? Because yeah. the people out there, the other fathers who are out there can change all this. We can decide that for today, henceforth, then we are going to change the narrative. Become better daddies. Be okay even showing your emotions, okay? When your son is crying, it's okay for them to feel Let that them way, to, cry. to express themselves. Yeah. So if we don't do that, then the same, same stories will be repeating themselves. Well, he has said it now. <laughs> Unfortunately, it's a time for us to wrap up this episode of Man Talk. But before we finish up, of course, I want my guests to share with you their social media handles, their contacts, so you can be able to get their services. Kogondu Jr. is a counseling psychologist and Sam West is a motivational speaker. So I know you guys will want to hit them up. <laughs> Could you share your socials, Kagondo? We can start yeah, with you. Yeah, I really appreciate that we had this particular conversation. Yeah. Thanks yeah. for coming. Yes, because cool. uh, there's a lot of stigma surrounding marriage and all yes. that. And I always say one way to manage that is through creating awareness. Yes. So I'm a counseling psychologist working with Mindcare Africa. Uh -huh. And uh, if you want to reach out, uh, IG, it will be Kagondo Jr. or even Mindcare Africa or the social media pages. Okay. Can I share my number? Yes. Okay, 0722. Four five zero zero four five. Reach out. You know, there's a lot of help out there. We can support you. Don't suffer alone. Yes, yes. I like that. Sam? Hi, how are you doing? My name is Sam West and uh, I'm a motivational speaker. You can always reach me out on Sam West KE on Instagram. The same on Twitter, Sam West KE, and also on Facebook, Sam West. I'm also on YouTube, Sam West. Yes. Can I say one more thing? Please. Now, this is for the people who are out there looking for someone, it's possible to get the right person, but of course you have to be right to start with. At the same time, for some of the people that think God brings, uh, God chooses a partner for you, mm -hmm. unfortunately he doesn't choose he a doesn't. partner for you. <laughs> Even Adam, God brought Eve. In fact, he paraded Eve. He presented Eve. To Adam and then it's Adam who chose he said oh my god bone of my bone yes. <laughs> flesh of my flesh I'm with it yes <laughs> <laughs> so don't just stay there go looking for your partner you'll find them I love yeah. it yes. thank you so much it's yes. been an incredible episode of man talk if you would like to watch any past episodes Sam West is in a past episode and I'm sure yeah. Kagondu Jr. will be joining us for more in the future Absolutely. check out the KTN home YouTube page you can find me at my socials at sir underscore common use the hashtag man talk and the hashtag KTN life and style I will see you guys next week same place same time yeah. otherwise goodbye